Hey everybody, so right now I'm doing an update on my project polish. I have been working on my polishes, but I've been focusing on only a couple of them at a time. Therefore, the progress is sort of concentrated in one polish rather than the others. Um, let's go into my trusty box to see what's been going on. So, um, I have actually finished a base coat, so I'm including a new base coat. This is not in the project, but I'm just letting you know this is the Sash Base Ridge Filling Base Coat. Um, so far it's okay, we'll see. The Witchcraft one was really quite good for the nail, but uh, we'll see how I like that one. It doesn't really do super good job filling ridges if you use one layer, but it's been working okay for me so far. So a uh, first one is uh, this uh, Deborah Lippman in Human Nature. I actually had made no progress whatsoever on this one. I wasn't really in the mood to use it in the last few weeks. Um, so it never really went anywhere. So um, this one's at the same exact spot as it was before. Um, I did do a dent on my OPI uh, Pinking of You. It was completely full. I just included it on last update. Uh, it was completely full, now it's at here, so quite a few uses, it's okay, it's not my favorite actually, I've discovered that this particular shade of pink is not my favorite, I prefer a bit of a dustier or a lighter option, but it's been fine and it's been matching a lot of things that I've been wearing, because I've been wearing quite a bit of pink, therefore I'm going to keep it and not get rid of it quite yet. Um, and I'm making decent progress on it, it's a bit sheer and it takes a few coats to build up, so uh, not the best formula from OPI. I usually really enjoy OPI formulas, but this one was not their best. Next one is this one, uh, One Track Mind from China Glaze. Um, this was my wild card polish, and I'm sort of thinking of including it as one of the more permanent polishes because I actually really like it. Um, I did have progress on it. It's actually full now. It's about here, but I'm not marking it because, you know, I'm not uh, including it quite yet formally into my um, into my project pan, project polish, therefore this is still a wild card. Um, so although I am making progress on it because I really like it, the neck is pretty much clear. I'm at the very beginning of the uh, body of the polish, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'm actually going to keep it in as my wild card because surprisingly I've been enjoying it so much I'm, I, I want to keep using it. Um, this one is like a one coater. You can get away with one coat, but it's not going to be perfect, perfect. The best kind of coverage you can achieve in two coats and it's beautiful. It applies very nicely. It dries pretty fast. Just, it's a good formula. I do enjoy that one. Next one is also a good formula, but I haven't really picked up quite as much because I've been using the other red that I have. And this is Revlon's Cherries in the Snow. Again, I've used it maybe once, no progress at all, and it's still completely full. Uh, this one I have been using. So this is my uh, Guerlain 121, beautiful red. This is the one I have been using more recently. Um, and here is the progress. As you can see, here is, here is the previous mark. And this is now. So slowly but surely I'm getting through it. I might um, focus on it a little bit more to sort of move it on out so I can finally use the Revlon one because uh, two reds, I think I made a mistake of including two reds at the same time. I really need to have one red at a time uh, if I want to see any kind of progress. Aha, um, uh -huh. this one is actually quite good. Steady progress on the Essie's Tuck It In My Tux. This is a creamy white, sort of three to four coaters, so formula is a bit unfortunate, but I really like the results. So again, this is where I was last time and this is where I am now. I have very little left. I'm sort of thinking of focusing on it and for the next update, I just kind of want to move it out and replace it possibly with this blue one and sort of include it on a more permanent uh, base. So I'm sort of over this one. I just want to finish it up. Um, the formula is just, it's getting a bit gloopier, but it's not getting more pigmented. So the pigment isn't really concentrating. It's just the formula is more, a bit more difficult to apply. So it's sort of crapping out a little bit, but it's all right. We'll keep going with it. Um, this one, on this one, we had a bit of progress. So maybe a little bit, not that much, but, um, I'm happy. Um, this one's going down slowly but surely. Um, we'll see where it goes. Actually, I'm kind of not reaching for this as much as I thought I would be. 
Um, I'm not really sure why, but we'll see. Maybe maybe in the, this month it's going to change and I'm going to wear it more. I'm not sure. So this is the progress on my polishes. This time around I haven't finished any and so far I've been kind of finishing polishes every update. But I'm pretty close with this one and I would say with this one. So these two I'm going to probably focus on for the last update and try to move them out. This one I think I have a chance of kind of moving on out because as you can see I've been doing a pretty steady progress on it and uh, I think it's doable. I think it's possible. Especially the amount of coats I have to use for it. So project polish is going well. I'm making progress. I'm doing my nails. I am kind of... Uh, one of the things that I discovered is kind of uh, fun for me is the fact that I'm using these guys but I'm also pulling for some glitters and toppers from my full regular collection. Like right now I'm wearing two coats of this one and I'm wearing also another sort of red shimmer polish. So you can see it's a slight red shimmer on my nails and I really like the effect. So this is not the first time I'm doing this particular manicure, I really like it. This is how I've been using some of the polishes with the top coats or some kind of glitters over top of them. Um, it's been really fun so far. I'm really enjoying the Project Polish. I've gotten rid of some polishes already and it hasn't been that long. So all in all, I think it's quite successful and I want to continue with it. Expect next update in a couple of weeks. I'll see you later. Bye bye.